Patricia Nell Scott Pat Schroeder born July 30, 1940, is an American politician who represented Colorado in the United States House of Representatives from 1973 to 1997. A member of the Democratic Party, Schroeder was the first female U.S. representative elected in Colorado. Early years Schroeder was born in Portland, Oregon, the daughter of Bernice Lemoyne, a first-grade teacher, and Lee Combs Scott, a pilot who owned an aviation insurance company. She moved to Des Moines, Iowa, with her family as a child. After graduating from Theodore Roosevelt High School in 1958, she left Des Moines and attended the University of Minnesota, where she majored in history. She graduated with a B.A. in 1961 and later earned a law degree from Harvard Law School in 1964. Moving to Denver, Colorado, she worked for the National Labor Relations Board from 1964 to 1966. She later worked for Planned Parenthood and taught in Denver's public schools. Patricia Schroeder is a member of Chi Omega Sorority. U.S. <laughs> Representative <laughs> 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 In 1972, Schroeder won an election for Congress in Colorado's 1st District, based in Denver, over freshman Republican incumbent Mike McEvitt. At age 32, Schroeder is the third youngest woman ever elected to that body. McEvitt, previously the Denver District Attorney, had been the first Republican to represent the district, regarded as the most Democratic in the Rockies, since Dean M. Gillespie in 1947. Schroeder won by just over 8,000 votes amid Richard Nixon's massive landslide that year. However, the district reverted to form, and she would never face another contest nearly that close. She was re-elected 11 more times against only nominal Republican opposition. Years later, Schroeder submitted a Freedom of Information Act request for her FBI file and discovered that she and her staff had been under surveillance during her first congressional campaign. She learned that the FBI had recruited her husband's barber as an informant, and paid a man named Timothy Redfern to break into her home and steal "...such all-important secret documents as my dues statement from the League of Women Voters and one of my campaign buttons." While in Congress, she became the first woman to serve on the House Armed Services Committee. She was also a Congress member of the original Select Committee on Children, Youth, and Families that was established in 1983. Known in her early tenure for balancing her congressional work with motherhood, even bringing diapers to the floor of Congress, she was known for advocacy on work-family issues, a prime mover behind the Family and Medical Leave Act of 1993 and the 1985 Military Family Act. Schroeder was also involved in reform of Congress itself, working to weaken the long-standing control of committees by their chairs, sparring with Speaker Carl Albert over congressional hideaways and questioning why Congress members who lived in their offices should not be taxed for the benefit, she chaired the 1988 presidential campaign of Gary Hart in 1987 until his withdrawal, at which point she briefly entered the race, before announcing her own withdrawal in an emotional press conference on September 28, 1987. Twenty years later, she said, she was still receiving hate mail, mostly from women, because of her tears. Guys have been tearing up all along and people think it's marvelous. She said, citing episodes dating back to Ronald Reagan, but for female candidates, it remains off limits. She did not seek a 13th term in 1996 and was succeeded by State House Minority Whip Diana DeGette, a fellow Democrat. In her farewell press conference, she joked about spending 24 years in a federal institution and titled her 1998 memoir, 24 Years of House Work. And the place is still a mess. Topic. Publishing industry service Schroeder was named President and CEO of the Association of American Publishers in 1997 and served in that post for 11 years. She has been a vocal proponent of stronger copyright law, supporting the government in Eldred v. Ashcroft and opposing Google's plan to digitize books and post limited content online. She has publicly criticized libraries for distributing electronic content without compensation to publishers, writers and others in the publishing industry, telling the Washington Post, They aren't rich 
less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 they have mortgages at the same time, she has tried to make the publishing industry more socially responsible, cooperating with organizations for the blind and others with reading difficulties to help make materials more accessible to them, particularly by encouraging publishers to release books so that non-profit groups can transfer them to electronic formats. She has also sat on the panel of judges for the Penn – Newman's Own Award, a $25,000 award designed to recognize the protection of free speech as it applies to the written word. In July 2012, Schroeder narrated a children's book app, The House That Went on Strike, a rhyming, interactive and musical tale that teaches kids and their parents respect for the household. Schroeder was chosen to narrate because of her stature as a celebrated house mom, and the metaphorical title of her memoir. Schroeder wrote about her experience narrating the story and offered her perspective about kids' book apps in a July 24, 2012, column on the Huffington Post. Additionally, Schroeder and the book were featured in a profile on Wired. Schroeder's work on the app was praised in a favorable review on Smart Apps for Kids, one of the leading app review sites for kids. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Private citizenship in Florida. Following her tenure at AAP, Schroeder and her husband relocated to Celebration, Florida, a master-planned community built by the Walt Disney Company. Schroeder is a resident of the 8th Congressional District, and in the 2010 general election came out in strong support of Democrat Alan Grayson for re-election to Congress, citing, in particular, the candidate's differences on women's issues. Grayson lost his re-election campaign. She subsequently endorsed him again ahead of the 2012 congressional elections, during which he returned to Congress. She currently sits on the board of the League of Women Voters of Florida. She is also a supporter of the campaign for the establishment of a United Nations Parliamentary Assembly, an organization which advocates for democratic reformation of the United Nations. Cultural references, influence, and awards In 1979, the Super Sisters trading card set was produced and distributed. One of the cards featured Schroeder's name and picture. Schroeder was lampooned on Saturday Night Live in 1988 in a skit where Nora Dunn, acting as Schroeder, repeatedly burst into tears while moderating a Democratic primary debate. During the 1995 budget debates, after Democrats claimed that Social Security payments would leave seniors with no choice but to eat dog food, Rush Limbaugh said in jest that he was going to get his mother a can opener. Schroeder denounced Limbaugh's remark on the floor of the House. Schroeder was named to the National Women's Hall of Fame in 1995. She contributed the piece, Running for Our Lives Electoral Politics, to the 2003 anthology Sisterhood as Forever, the Women's Anthology for a New Millennium, edited by Robin Morgan. She was honored by the National Research Center for Women and Families in 2006 for her lifetime of achievements with a Foremother Award. She was elected to the Common Cause National Governing Board in 2010. Schroeder was portrayed by Jan Radcliffe in the 2016 HBO film Confirmation. Memorable quotes Schroeder coined the famous phrase, Teflon President, to describe Ronald Reagan. She was frying eggs in a Teflon pan one morning when the idea came to her. Publishers Weekly reported that in her memoir she mentioned Richard Nixon, who wore makeup all the time, by saying, I had an incredible urge to wash his face. She relayed that actor John Wayne had once offered her a cigarette lighter engraved with the inscription, Fuck Communism John Wayne. The Office of the Clerk of the House of Representatives shares that, from her seat on the Armed Services Committee, she once told Pentagon officials that if they were women, they would always be pregnant because they never said no. During the debate whether to pass the Defense of Marriage Act, DOMA, Schroeder said in opposition, You can't amend the Constitution with a statute. Everybody knows that. This is just stirring the political waters and seeing what hate you can unleash." In a 1995 exchange, in which former Representative Duke Cunningham told Bernie Sanders to "...sit down, you socialist." After he objected to Cunningham's homophobic comment, Schroeder asked Parliamentary Inquiry, Mr. Chairman, do we have to call the gentleman a gentleman if he's not one? 
Topic See also Women in the United States House of Representatives <laughs>